Yo guys, what's up? I'm back from a much needed break. As you can see, people have been asking for the RX-7 tune, so today we are going to be tuning that for, again, Top Speed Nitrous. Those are the tunes I'm focusing on on this channel. Maybe later on we might move on to something drag racing, but not as of now. So this car will be doing 312 miles per hour on the straight. Uh, what it doesn't do on the straight actually makes up for it on the curve it has a very high mile per hour curve so it's 310 to 311 on the curve very good tune to keep up with all the good racers out there the car again will be a maxed out tune nitrous and uh, we should be able to go ahead and move on to the tuning side of things here for the swap we're going to go for the 787b i have my uh, swap here on the uh, gift section uh, most of y'all will probably find it on gt auto all swaps are available after level 50 so if you don't see it make sure you get your account to level 50. with the part side of things make sure we leave the lower wheel it does make it a little bit faster make sure that we add our rim width wide and the offset wide as well i'm going to be adding the front bumper a b as well as the side bumper b these don't really matter on this car just make sure you add the rear diffuser it's an aesthetic thing here. Uh, that's gonna be it for the parts. Moving on to the part side of things. Again, it's gonna be a maxed out tune. Get every single part. Usually you go weight reduction five first. That way you avoid buying all the weight reductions and uh, you save some money up right there. Again, slow down the video just to make sure you don't miss a part or uh, just go ahead and pause it. For the tuning sheet, we are going to be adding Racing Soft in the back, Racing Heavy Wet in the front. Make sure that we slam the right height front and back as well. It's always answer roll bars. I just go ahead and go 10 at front, 8 in the back. This is usually for real wheel drives. So uh, we're going to be dropping compression on front and back and picking up expansion all the way to the top as well. Go ahead and slam the back natural frequency. Leave the front as it is. Negative camber, 1.7 in the back, 2.0 in the front. And just go ahead and follow the instructions after this. So you can go ahead and get the right correct numbers on the actual transmission. Don't forget about dropping that downforce. It does slow you down. and driving the car we are going to be shifting in 9800 at second and third slam the nitrous and again 9800 third fourth fifth and the car is pretty stable should be good to go and it should be doing around 315 miles per hour at the lower hill and be able to hold 312 all the way through
as always guys coming up on the curve just make sure that we focus on this red dot right here it should let you know how much you're supposed to be giving on that curve just so you won't lose it or hit the wall it is a very very stable tune so on this one you should not have any trouble in keeping that uh, car off the wall it is going to be again through hitting 311 310 around there very very fast on that curve especially when you're going to be pretty much uh, drafting at this point so the car is very very good in the draft uh, section Right, as you can see it does hold 312 all the way through the entire track here just focus on the red dot just to make sure you know how much to give not to lose the car as always just focus breathe the car is very stable it does keep a good 310 hits 311 here and there but it's a very fast car on the curve hopefully you guys did enjoy that tune today i believe the next one will be the viper as uh, somebody did suggest it on the comments uh, so that'll be the, another share on swap uh, added to the actual roster but with that said uh, just go ahead and like and subscribe if you did like the content i will see you guys in the next one peace